I'm here with my girl, GF, AKA Georgia Fowler. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> She's modest. She's a Victoria's Secret Angel, mm -hmm. and we're gonna show you some awesome moves to get you ready, Shanghai style. Let's do it. She goes down, she steps back into a lunge. Good. And then hits a row. And then we come up strong, find that balance on a single leg, and then hit a curl, coming down nice and controlled. I like always adding kind of compound exercises into one fluid movement, because you get more bang for your buck, and it gets G working a little bit more and staying focused. Go down in that nice controlled hinge. There you go, making sure you keep that balance. And then just hit that pivot, keep the control pausing at the top, coming on back down controls, really working those abs. Basically having a lot of compound movements and then combining them efficiently. I have this band and I'm making sure I'm giving a little bit of resistance so she pushes those abs up, those hips forward, and then she's just moving. There you go, good quick feet, good quick feet. If you guys don't all have these bands at home, you can do this with any wall that you may have. Georgia has a very good torso angle, her knees are raising up, and it also keeps your abs engaged. Slight bend in those knees, the arms are bent up as well, and we're just coming in nice enough. Now what Georgia focuses on is moving from the middle of the back. This allows for some great strength here for about 10 reps, nice and easy. Assuming that same position again, arms straight down here, and then she rows back, good, and then rotates those elbows up, and then pushes forward again. This one's a killer. You can do this even without weight, as you see now, and just really focus on that mind-body connection. We're gonna hit it three ways. So coming on back down, she comes up slightly forward. Yep. Then straight out. Good. And then straight back. Then we're actually gonna take the band off. This one's a super killer. Get into the end range of motion. Small circle at the top, making sure that leg doesn't drop down. Let's reverse. She's gonna lay on her back. She's gonna lift her leg up. Going to take the elbow to meet the block. She's going to try to drive through the block. I'm going to try to hit this block out. She doesn't want to let me do that. And I make sure she switches. I'm going to add a reverse crunch into this. As I'm hitting, it comes down with that heel tap and comes up and then slightly negative. Pretty much kind of Shanghai ready.